Evolution within skateboarding is often associated with the progression of tricks. However, along with the evolution of tricks is the evolution of the skateboard itself. To examine the modern day skateboard, Transworld has teamed up with Dwindle Distribution to look at their exclusive factory, DSM. Before we look at the factory, we must stop at the Dwindle headquarters. Here, the hard good developer uses 3D software to go over every inch and angle of each product before their molds and templates are produced. In this stage, he will make various adjustments, including those based on the feedback he receives from the pros. Occasionally, 3D scanners are used. This is to incorporate existing shapes into upcoming models. The computer provides an example of how the board will look, but the physical mock-up, cut from a stack of plies, 20 thick, gives a sense of how the board will actually feel. At DSM, boards are made from scratch. While other manufacturers start with pre-made veneers, here, the process begins with maple logs. This is to ensure quality into the earliest stages of manufacturing. These logs are shipped to DSM from North America, specifically the Great Lakes region. After soaking in special tanks for some time, they are ready to be debarked and prepared for veneering. Once peeled, the sheets of maple are cut to size and sorted while undergoing one of many quality checks. Veneers are then given a chance to dry and stiffen before the next step. And this next step, for some wood, is coloring. Select sheets are treated in pressurized dye tanks and are then fed through a customized dryer before returning to storage. Certain veneers have specific die cuts made to make room for a carbon laminate used in Dwindle's impact construction. Use of this material produces a board that is lighter and stiffer as tested by professional skaters who swear by this technology. The adhesive used exclusively by DSM is known as resin. This unique mixture replaces traditional water-based glues which have shown to break down easier over time. After resin is applied, the veneers are ready to enter the press. Unlike other manufacturers, DSM presses one board per mold. This technique, known as single deck pressing, provides a consistent board shape throughout each batch. After pressing, all boards are stored in a precisely controlled environment, allowing the resin to fully cure. Aluminum and magnesium are also key ingredients on the premises as tensor trucks are produced at DSM as well. And unlike maple, these metals only need a few seconds in their molds until they are ready for polishing, machining, and finishing. Trucks can be produced in a day, but it is the testing that requires a much longer period of time. Once boards have rested long enough after pressing, they re-enter the shop where bolt holes are drilled to an exact position. These holes are then used to attach one of many various templates to cut the boards into shape. Edges are then cleaned and beveled before the deck receives a protective coat of lacquer and laser etching. And from here, it's off to the graphics department. Although board graphics have been applied using a heat transfer process in recent years, Images are still produced with the same classic technique, silk screening. Colors are mixed by hand and are each laid down one at a time. Once boards are finalized with graphics, they are ready to be shipped to distributors and shops. But not all of them. Once a week, a few boards are pulled aside for testing to assure the batch is up to standard and can handle the abuse and demands of modern day skating.